Hello students, welcome back to the math class. In our last class, we have discussed many concepts about surface areas and volumes. In this class, we will discuss some more concepts of surface areas and volumes. Let us now discuss example 14. At a Ramzan Mela, a stall keeper in one of the food stalls has a large cylindrical vessel of base radius 15 centimeter filled up to a height of 32 centimeter with orange juice. The juice is filled in small cylindrical glasses as you can see in figure 13.27 of radius 3 centimeter up to a height of 8 centimeter and sold for rupees 3 each. How much money does the stall keeper receive by selling the juice completely? Okay. So, students let us now discuss the solution. Okay. So, the volume of juice is equal to volume of the vessel. Fine. So, volume of vessel is equal to pi r square h where r is equal to base radius and h is height. Fine. So, how much is it? Pi r square. What is r for the vessel? Radius of vessel is 15. So, pi into 15 into 15 into what is the height of the vessel? It is 32 centimeter. So, this much centimeter cube. Students, we need not to calculate over here because it will be easier when we divide with the volume of the can to find out the number of glasses sold. Okay. So, volume of glass can is equal to pi r square h r is base radius and h is height. This is for the glass can. Okay. That is equal to pi. What is the radius of the glass can? 3 centimeter into 3 into 3 height it is 8 centimeter. So, this much centimeter cube. So, number of glasses of juice sold is equal to volume of juice divided by volume of glass can that is equal to pi into 15 into 15 into 32 centimeter cube divided by pi into 3 into 3 into 8 centimeter cube. Pi pi cancels out, centimeter cube centimeter cube cancels out. Hundred. It raises with hundred. So, hundred glasses of juice were sold. So, what should be the cost or what is the money that is received by the stall keeper? Let us find it out. Price of a glass of juice is given as rupees 3. So, price of a glass of juice is equal to rupees 3 and amount received will be rupees 3 into 100 because 100 glasses of juice were sold. So, that is rupees 300. So, this much amount will be received by the stall keeper. Hope you understand the solution. Students, let us now discuss exercise 13.6. Okay? Let us solve question 1. The circumference of the base of a cylindrical vessel is 132 centimeter and its height is 25 centimeter. How many liters of water can it hold? Okay. And it is instructed to take 1000 centimeter cube as 1 liter. Okay. So, students, let us solve question 1. As per the given data, the circumference of the base of the cylindrical vessel is 132 centimeter. That means 
2 pi r is equal to 132 centimeter. Fine, that means r will be 132 divided by 2 into 7 by 22. Okay. So, twenty one centimeter. So, R is twenty one centimeter. Height is given as twenty five centimeter. H is equal to twenty five centimeter. The question demands for the volume of the water that can be kept inside the vessel. So, that is equal to the volume of the vessel itself. So, volume is equal to pi R square H that is equal to 22 by 7 into 21 into 21 into 25. Okay. So, this gives us the value 34650 centimeter cube and we know that 1000 centimeter cube is equal to 1 liter. So, 34650 centimeter cube is equal to 34 650 divided by 1000 that is 34.65 liter. So, the cylindrical vessel can hold 34.65 liter of water. Okay. Hope you understand the solution for the question. Let us now discuss question number 2. Okay. Students, question number 2 says the inner diameter of a cylindrical wooden pipe is 24 centimeter and its outer diameter is 28 centimeter. The length of the pipe is 35 centimeter. Find the mass of the pipe if 1 centimeter cube of wood has a mass of 0 0.6 gram. Okay? So, let us discuss the solution. Students, what are the given data? Inner diameter and outer diameter. Okay, what is the inner diameter? Inner diameter is 24 centimeter. So, suppose D1 is the inner diameter, it is 24 centimeter. So, if R1 is the inner radius, it will be 24 by 2, that is 12 centimeter. Okay? Then outer diameter is given as 28 centimeter. Suppose D2 is the outer diameter, that is given as 28 centimeter. So, R2, if it is the outer radius it will be 28 by 2 that is 14 centimeter. Okay? Now, height of the pipe is given as 35 centimeter. Okay? Why height is 35 centimeter? Because height is not mentioned in the question but the length of the pipe is mentioned and we have already discussed the length of a cylinder is nothing but its height. Height of pipe is nothing but the length of the pipe. Okay. So, H is equal to 35 centimeter because length of pipe is given as 35 centimeter. Now, let us find out the volume of the pipe. Okay. Students, you need to understand that the volume should be the difference between the volume that is found using the outer radius and the inner radius because the pipe has a thickness. Okay. So, the volume should be pi r2 square h minus pi r1 square h that is equal to pi r2 square minus r1 square h. Okay. What is r2? r2 is the outer radius that is 14. So, it is 22 by 7 into 14 square minus 12 square into 35. So, 7 5s are 35. So, students that will be equal to 22 into 196 minus 1 44 into 5 that is 22 into 52 into 5. Okay. That will be equal to 5720 centimeter cube. Fine. So, it is also given that 1 centimeter cube wood is equal to 
zero point six gram. So let us find the mass of the wood. Okay. So as per the given data, mass of one centimeter cube of wood is equal to zero point six gram. So students, mass of one centimeter cube of wood is given as zero point six gram. So mass of five seven two zero centimeter cube of wood is equal to five seven two zero into zero point six. That is five seven two zero into six by ten. Three four three two gram. Okay, so when we convert this into kilograms, we find three four three two gram is equal to three point four three two kilogram. Hence, the mass of the pipe is three point four three two kilogram. Okay, hope you understand the solution for the question, students. Let us now discuss question number three. It says. A soft drink is available in two packs. First, a tin can with a rectangular base of length five centimeter and width four centimeter, having a height of fifteen centimeter. And second, a plastic cylinder with circular base of diameter seven centimeter and height ten centimeter. Which container has greater capacity and by how much? So let us discuss the solution. Okay, students, for the first part. The length, breadth, and height of tin can is given. That is, length is equal to five centimeter, breadth is equal to four centimeter, and height is equal to fifteen centimeter. So, what should be the volume? Volume is equal to L into B into H. That is, five into four into fifteen, twenty into fifteen. That is, three hundred centimeter cube. Okay. So let us find out the volume of the cylindrical can. Okay, students, the diameter of the plastic cylinder is given as seven centimeter. So let us find out the radius. R is equal to seven by two. That is three point five centimeter. Okay, height of plastic cylinder is given as ten centimeter. So height is equal to ten centimeter. So, what should be the capacity of plastic cylinder? Capacity is pi r square h. That is twenty two by seven into three point five into three point five into ten. Okay. So this becomes twenty two by seven into thirty five by ten into thirty five by ten into ten. Okay. So This is three eighty five centimeter cube. Okay, so the capacity of the cylinder and the capacity of the can gives us the difference of capacity, isn't it? So the capacity of cylinder is found to be three eighty five centimeter cube and The capacity of the can, that is the tin can, was 300 centimeter cube. So difference is 385 minus 300, that is 85 centimeter cube. Hence, the cylinder has greater capacity of 85 centimeter cube. Hope you understand. Let us now discuss question number four. It says. If the lateral surface of a cylinder is 94.2 cm square and its height is 5 cm then find radius of its base and its volume okay and instruction is there for using pi is equal to 3.14 so let us discuss the solution okay students the given data is height of 5 cm the height is equal to 5 cm what else the radius radius is not given so let us assume that radius is equal to 
R. Fine. So curved surface area of the cylinder. Curved surface area of the cylinder is given as 94.2 centimeter square. Okay. Hence, 2 pi R H is equal to 94.2 centimeter square. So, students as per the instruction we need to take the value of pi as 3.14. So, 2 pi R H is equal to 2 into 3.14 into R that is not given and H is 5 is equal to 94.2 centimeter square. So, students that implies R is equal to 942 by 10 into 100 by 314 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 5. So, 10 tens are that is 942 by 314 that is equal to 3 centimeter. Okay. So, the radius is found to be 3 centimeter. So, students let us now find the volume. So, we have got height as 5 centimeter and the radius is 3 centimeter. So, volume is pi r square h. Okay. So, pi r square h that is 3.14 into 3 into 3 into 5 that is equal to 314 by 100 into 9 into 5. 314 into 9 divided by 20 and when we calculate it will come up to 141.3 centimeter cube. Okay. So, this is the volume of the cylinder. Hope you understand the solution for this question. Students, let us now discuss question number 5. It says it costs rupees 2200 to paint the inner curved surface of a cylindrical vessel 10 meter deep. If the cost of painting is at the rate of rupees 20 per meter square, find inner curved surface area of the vessel, radius of the base and capacity of the vessel. Okay? So, let us discuss the solution. Students, the total cost is rupees 2200 and the rate is rupees 20 per meter square. Okay. Rate is rupees 20 per meter square. Fine. So, the area that is covered that is equal to 2200 by 20 110 meter square. Okay. So, the inner curved surface area of the vessel is 110 meter square. Okay. Let us now go for the second bit. It says what is the radius of the base. Okay. Let us find out. So, curved surface area is equal to 110 meter square. Okay. And what is the height? Height is 10 meter. Height is 10 meter. And we need to find the radius. So, what is the formula for curved surface area? That is 2 pi r h. Okay. 2 pi r h that is 2 into 22 by 7 into r into 10 that is equal to 110. Fine. So, r is equal to 110 into 7 divided by 2 into 22 into 10 that is 7 by 4 1.75 meter. So, this is the radius of the base. Okay? Let us now find the capacity of the vessel. So, capacity is pi r square h that is equal to 22 by 7 into 1.75 square into height, height is 10. Okay. So, 22 by 7 into 175 by 100 into 175 by 100 into 10. Okay. 
So, when we calculate it will be 96.25 meter cube. So, the capacity of the vessel is 96.25 meter cube. Let us convert it into liters. Students, we know that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter. That means, 96.25 meter cube is equal to 96.25 into 1000 that is 96250 liter. So, the capacity of the vessel is 96250 liters. Hope you understand the solution for the question. Yes. Let us now discuss question number 6. It says the capacity of a closed cylindrical vessel of height 1 meter is 15.4 liter. How many square meters of metal sheet would be needed to make it? Okay. Let us now discuss the solution. Students, as radius is not given, so let us take radius is equal to r. Okay. Height of the cylinder is given as 1 meter. Fine. So, what is the volume of the vessel? Volume is given as 14.4 liter. Okay. So, that is 0 0.0. 0154 meter cube. Okay. Now, we know that volume is pi r square h that is equal to 0 0.0154 meter cube. Fine. Here, r square is equal to 0 0.0154 divided by what is h? 1 into 22.7. Fine. So, when we calculate the square root of 0 0.0154 into 7 divided by 22, it will be 0 0.07 meter. Okay. So, now let us find out the total surface area of the vessel. Okay. What is the formula for total surface area of the vessel? Students, total surface area is equal to 2 pi r whole multiplied by the sum of r and h. So, total surface area is equal to 2 pi r r plus h. Okay. So, just we need to substitute the values and we can find out the total surface area. So, this is 2 into 22 by 7 into r. What is r? It is 0 0.07. So, 0 0.07 plus height. What is your height? It is nothing but 1 meter. So, this much meter square. Okay. And this becomes 0 0.44 okay, into 1.07 meter square. Okay. So, this is 0 0.4708 meter square. So, the total surface area is found to be 0 0.4708 meter square. Students, let us now discuss question number 7. A lead pencil consists of a cylinder of wood with solid cylinder of graphite filled in the interior. The diameter of the pencil is 7 millimeter and the diameter of the graphite is 1 millimeter. If the length of the pencil is 14 centimeter, find the volume of the wood and that of the graphite. Okay? So, let us solve the question. So, students, to solve this question, let us take R1 as the radius of the pencil and R2 as the radius of graphite. So, R1 is equal to 7 by 2 that is 3.5 millimeter and when we convert it, it will be 0 0.35 centimeter. R2 that is 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter or 0 0.05 centimeter. So, we have found the radius for the pencil and the graphite and the height is given as 14 centimeter. Fine. So, let us find the volume of the wood in the pencil. So, we need to subtract the volume of graphite 
that is inside the pencil so volume of wood so volume of wood is equal to volume of graphite subtracted from volume of the pencil so it is pi r2 square minus r1 square h okay hope you understand why i have written like this because it is pi r2 square h minus pi r1 square h and i have taken common pi and h and i have subtracted the radius r2 square minus r1 square so this becomes 22 by 7 multiplied by 0 0.35 square minus what is r1 it is 0 0.05 square into h that is 14 centimeter so that is equal to 44 into 0 0.12 or it is equal to 5.28 centimeter cube. So, students, let us now find the volume of graphite. Is equal to pi r2 square h that is 22 by 7 into 0 0.05 square into 14 and when we calculate this will be 44 into 0 0.0025 that will be equal to 0 0.11 centimeter cube. So, the volume of graphite is found to be 0 0.11 centimeter cube. Hope you understand the solution for this question. Students, now we have come to the closure of today's class. In this class, we have discussed some more concepts about surface areas and volumes. We have gone through some examples. We have solved questions from your book. Hope you have understood all the concepts clearly and the solutions for the questions. You need to practice all these questions and the examples as well so that you can have a good grasp on all these concepts. Okay? So, keep practicing and keep smiling. Thank you.